Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 8 of the Adobe Illustrator tutorial series. So today we're going to draw some basic shapes that we don't find here and then uh, color them accordingly. So what I want to do is I'm going to go to Windows and sorry Views and then I'm going to show grid that we made in the last lesson. So in Illustrator you don't file, find uh, shapes like triangles and everything. So for that we're going to use Pen Tool. So Pen Tool actually works here as a shape maker. So if, we, if I were to, let's say, click on four sides over here, I actually need to enable snap to grid. Press enter, I'm just gonna delete this out. So I'm gonna go to Windows and I'm gonna enable snap to grid over here to so that it actually sticks to the grid. So let me just increase the size over here. Let me just uh, say one point over here, okay? So I'm gonna select the pen tool and I can just draw the shape. So click here, click here, click here, click here, and click here, there you go, I got a square. If I want to make a triangle, just click here, and then I want to click somewhere in the middle like this, click here, click here, there you go, I got the triangle. And let's say I want a semicircle, so I'm gonna click over here, I'm gonna click and drag so that I, I'm holding shift so that I can drag it. So I actually have a semicircle over here. Uh, sorry for that, let me just press Control Z, click here, there you go, there's a semicircle. I can also create a circle, so I'm, I'm going to click here, and over here, shift, click and drag. Again, click on the center, over here, shift, click and drag. Sorry for that, control Z, to go backward, shift, click and drag. And then click over here as well. So that's how you make the basic shapes. So if you want to change the color, you just see it, simply do the same. So just select the shapes over here, change the color that you want. So I'm going to say red. For this one, I'm going to select this, this is going to be blue, this is going to be uh, green, and this is going to be blue. Alright, so that's how you change, um, make shapes inside of Adobe Illustrator. So you can see that using grids actually helps a lot. Uh, hope you guys learned something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.